know we outside cause we locked in We ain't playing no D, we playing offense Shit changed nowadays, I got options Then no pop game, we ain't winning nothing Mike levels, Yo. check, check, everything's good Check, check, check Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to the Now or Never podcast Today we got Mr. Bo Burnham, a.k.a. Bo Bichette A.k.a. Mr. Exotic Snacks yes, A.k.a. Yes, Exotic Snacks GTA Welcome, 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 yes, what's going on? How you doing? Good, 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 good. A.k.a. Good, good, the good, good, king good, of bro. Queen Street Yes, yeah, so king of Queens <laughs> Call me Doug Hefner you know what I'm saying? So you, you were telling you know, us, you know, you were telling us before that Re- Regina or Regina is it Regina or Regina? Uh, Regina, Regina. So you're saying that Regina, Regina mm. is queen in Italian? Yes, so and you so this store is located on Regina Road. Yes, and then your new location, which we can't say too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't, can't, say, can't say too too much. Uh, that one's on Queen Street too. So it just so happened that you know the universe brought you into. Uh, into uh um, two I got I, I got two stores got two on Queens, uh, bro. Two Queens, you know? Yeah, that's it. King of Queens, Doug Hefner. Got the you know, Jeez. Right now, like it's a big moment for you. You know what I'm saying? You just open up your second location yes, on one of the big bu- busiest streets in Toronto. Um, you know, I seen it through the beginning since you were selling snacks out of your car. You know what I'm saying? You were selling yeah. snacks out of the car? I didn't even Yeah, know. bro. Oh, At Costco, geez. bro. This guy, like, I went to go buy some shit from him one yeah. time, you know? I was selling but, it, man. Selling out the trunk, bro. But what, I'm, what I want to get into quickly is That's just like... That's a fucking grind. Yo, when everybody... A lot of people used to diss. A lot of people used to like, oh, bro, he's supposed to end selling snacks. I, I want to know, like, what made you... What, how, how did you see this vision? How did you know that there was this much of like a market, uh, this much of a need in this market? So I always had a passion for like, you know, things that we don't have like snacks and, you know, different type of sodas we don't have in, in Canada. But every time I'd go on vacation with my family as a kid and whatnot, I would always like Florida, you know, if I go to Florida, I'm getting different types of cereal, different types of, uh, you know, cookies always bringing them back with me too. And then when they were finished, you know, I, I, I'd be like, you know, I'd be a little like sad because like, I, I can't have it. I don't have no more, right? Oh. So then, uh, you know, um, so I've always had the passion. It was always there. And um, then even at one point, I, I, went to, I went on a trip to Jamaica, you know, uh, you know with, uh, with Perry. Oh. And uh, we went and, uh, you know, I, I got those drinks. Um, these people we fell in love with these Minute Maid pineapple drinks over there in, in Jamaica. They were so good. And, um, Minute Maid pineapple. Don't you have them in the? In I, I don't. These are Minute Maid Americans. But, oh, okay, uh, okay. bro, they were from Jamaica. And, you know, we brought some back. And then when it was gone, I was like, you know, it was gone, man. I was like, you know what? I, I would pay for this stuff, man. You know, and, I, and I, like, an idea kind of popped in my head there. And that's when I started. <laughs> and when I, when I mainly started off, I started off mainly with like, you know, like uh, started with the cereal, you know, uh, cookies, stuff like that. And then it just, you know, completely expanded. I expanded my variety, got into the drinks, you know, like, uh, and it just took off from there, man, you know. I remember, bro. Like this was like that was kind of like a side hustle for right, you. Right, right. So how did when did you when did you like think like oh shit like this is like could be like a main thing. Like, so you know yo, I mean? when I was working at Costco, I was I, you know I was I was doing that as a side hustle, and I'll be honest, like uh, probably three months into doing it, I was literally sitting at Costco one day, like you know, thinking to myself, I was like I had all this stock of cereal and uh, pop tarts, all this stuff in my house, and I said yo like. Like, how am I going to get rid of this? Do I, am, I, am I even going to be able to do this business type of thing? There was that moment. I, I had that moment. And, um, you know, probably a week after that, um, I started, you know, uh, that's when I linked up with with uh, PLs. Yeah. And, you know, I yeah, started selling I my stuff yeah. in a store. Yeah. And that kind of got me going a little bit. So, you know, I, I was selling, I had my stuff in a convenience store. So that got me going. And then, uh, then I got the storage unit. And then uh, after that, November 2019... I opened up, you know, my first shop right here next door upstairs, Unit 25. Small you know, little... Uh, small little office space. Shoe box. Man. Yeah, man. Started off, you know, and then yeah. now now we're here and now we got a full store next door and we also got a, que- uh, a, a, a store right on Queen Street in the heart of Toronto. It's, it's amazing, bro. It's crazy. It's, you know, it's... it's, it's uh, I, I would have... Uh, honestly, I, 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 um, I never thought the business would take off as much as it did. <laughs> and... Um, it's it's crazy, you know? I just think, bro, like you tapped into something that a lot of people like you wanted. Right. Easy access to this stuff. 
and you just took advantage of that moment. You know that, what I mean? And, and those people, cool. those people that do that are always the ones that strive. And then now you see a bunch of other people trying to follow the wave. Right, and, right. You know what I mean? 100%, 100%. But that's why you capitalize, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which is great. So what's the reason for these things not being able to be sold in Canada? Like... Or be regulated in, in certain like grocery stores. It's honestly, it's honestly like not even really <laughs> about that. It's it's for like example, for like American stuff, okay? So America is is ten times bigger than Canada. Mm -hmm. Um also ten times amount of people population wise. That means they gotta have ten times amount of different types of products that they you know that they offer that the, the people, right? So that's like you know, something like that. And then also like what people uh, what flavors people like in the country, right? So like I get stuff from China, I get matcha Oreos from China because people in China, you know, they like matcha. You know, they, you don't see you, you, the day you find matcha Oreos in, in a Canadian yeah. grocery store. So, you know, they sell according to what people in that country like and, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, so, okay. um, and, and, and that's basically it, you know, it's, it's not really about like, uh, um, and no, no really regulations. It's just basically snacks that um, are, are not sold um in canada that uh, the flavors are um they uh they they make their flavors according to what the people like in the country for example like even this drink right here this is a, a fanta white white peach mm. in japan um white people peaches are, are... white peaches are like bro they believe in like white peaches are like Bro, you eat white peaches and, and they keep you young. It's yeah. supposed to mean like, you know, like a, like, you oh, know, okay, a yeah. prosperity type of thing, right? And um, basically, see how small this bottle is? Because, bro, they don't like drinking big, big drinks there. If the drink's big like that prime, bro, they, they won't drink it. They, they, it's, it's too big. They know they're not going to finish it, right? So they yeah. got to go according to what those people like well, type of thing. It's tiny compared to right. Americans or Canadians, right? So, right, exactly, exactly. Oh, guys just ripping it Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, you want to stay young. Yeah. You want to stay young on the podcast. <laughs> But um, what? Just throw I, me I, one, sir. <laughs> I just want to hear the differences between, like, you know, the struggles, struggles of like, because bro, now it turned into like an actual serious business. Okay. Before it was just like just selling the product. What's the what's the different problems that you're running into now? Is it more stressful? Or is it the same? Like, is it overwhelming at times? Well, a hundred thousand percent. Um, you know. So I'm, I'm basically, you know, started off as a one-man show and I'm basically, I almost am still a one-man show, you know. So when I started, when I came over here to Unit 24 and I moved from 25, you know, I uh, um, still running by myself, but uh, also had a couple of employees here and there, which I needed. So, you know, and, uh, you know, that's when, um, when I was getting employees and stuff, like I, I say to myself still, you know, like um, this business, um, I, I need to build a team type of thing, you know, people that, uh, you know, people that are good passion and pa pa uh, that have the same, you'll never find the people that have the exact passion. You never passion, will, you never will, yeah. But, you know, hardworking people and dedicated people um, that could help as a team bring this brand and, and this business to a whole nother level. And um, the struggles, you know, that uh, I deal with, number one is, you know, when I started this business, November 2019, that was right before COVID, right? So yeah. I, so I feel I, like you strive though, bro. I I opened right before COVID, November twenty nineteen. Let's say three four months later, everything had to shut down. Like it was this, it was it was nuts, right? So we had to, you know, basically <coughs> for then for when that happened too, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to like you know, uh, you know, stay afloat type of thing. But um, the uh, Right before COVID also, in January 2020, uh, we just opened, I just uh, started the Exotic Snacks GTA website that went live. So I was able to offer like pickup and delivery. So that was able to kind of like bring in some sales. And um, for those three months, I wasn't able to import anything, right? So nothing was coming in, no new product. It's, it was kind of hard to, you know, sell and, you know, pay rent type of thing. But Oh yeah, it was like hard to get things over the board. Oh, right? man, you couldn't. There wasn't even a hold. Yeah, yeah, forget yeah. about hold. Like for the first three months, when they didn't know what this thing was, yeah. it was like, bro, like yeah, they weren't. Even, <laughs> nothing was happening. Nothing was coming through. Um, you know, other than mask and gloves, like straight up, wow. and 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 sanitizer. But um, so now, um, so after that, you know, things started looking better. But still to this day, you know, I was trying to find 
hold Wokel's employees out there is, is, is very, very hard. And that's why I do a lot of the work myself type of thing, right? And, um, you know, obviously it comes to a point when you're in a business that, you know, you need to get people, you know, like, like I do, I, I know I need to build a team, but it's the matter of finding um, those hardworking people, right? And, and you know, that's how... Ask, ask for them right now. Yeah. <laughs> if they're watching. Yeah. They're and they, hey, hey. Hit me up, guys. Hit up the at Exotic Snacks GTA, you know? Can you imagine this shit just starts blowing <laughs> hey, up after this? Yeah, hey, uh, bro, there's definitely people, people out there that are definitely 100,000 percent Yeah, yeah but here's the problem. The ones that are like that are probably already have a job. Fair enough. That's why it's Yeah, it's, but it's bro, tough, like, like fair enough, yeah. Any any thing, yeah. any any industry and any business owner as of right now, since after COVID, <laughs> is having a hard time because people stayed home for so long <laughs> that they got so comfortable staying home and right. doing absolutely nothing. Right. That like and they got paid by Serb, right? Right. Right. So now they're like just they're just chilling at home. Hundred percent. Everyone's yeah. everyone's lazy. It's like yo, yeah. Uh, nobody wants to walk, bro. Nobody. Yeah, it's it's yeah, crazy. Man. But since that COVID happened, and you know, um, it's crazy. And you know, and and talking about you know going back to uh, you know having struggles and stuff with that COVID and you know um all just you know whatever you're doing you know if you have competition out there and whatnot, bro. One thing I gotta say is. <laughs> believe in yourself and, and never give up bro and work hard and you know you you will succeed in life man you know one way or another it's it's bound to happen so just you know believe in what you do be passionate in it you know you're gonna come across struggles in every business whatever bro i can't even name how many struggles you come across what was, right but what was the biggest risk or like what was the biggest time like sorry the one of those times where you're like scared to make a move but you did and ended up working out obviously but like was it opening up your first store? What what was that big risk? The the this the the big risk, hundred percent, definitely the first store. But when I moved over from that first store to the second store, this one here, mm -hmm. that was like even a bigger <laughs> risk because I went from you know, paying from you know one when I went when I moved over from here to there, my rent tripled right. So that was like a huge stepping stone for me right and. Uh, so you have to that, do it though. Bro. Yeah, I had to do Were it, and scared? it was a, of course, course bro. I was, I'm, I was very scared to do that, and you know, like, uh, you know, even with this, the store downtown, you know, um, you know, of course, I was, I was scared, but you know, like I said, you cannot be scared when you're doing these things. You gotta believe in yourself. If you can't see it, like, if you can't see it in you, it won't happen. You know what I mean? So you have to see it and say, you have to have that. Don't throw no negative energy out there. Work hard. Have that good energy. Oh, and that's it, you know. And, and you know, also like, feel like, also feel like, if you're not scared, then it's not a, a big enough risk. Hundred yeah. percent, bro. Yeah. No, Trend. no risk, no reward, Facts. dude. You know what I yeah. mean? You have to have. If 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 you're not risking it, bro, it, you're <coughs> not getting the biscuit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that, you know, so yeah. yeah. When it comes to uh, when it comes to that, bro, you just gotta walk hard. No, Man. someone told me too. Is like you know, like, um. When we're dealing with things at, at first, we think it's so hard. And then once right. we complete that, we're like, oh shit, that was so easy. Right. And then you want to do when, when dealing else. with When you're dealing with at that moment, you're going to be like, oh shit, this is hard. Yeah. And it's just a continuous thing. So it's just like, yeah. At first, things are going to be, it's going to seem tough because you've never experienced that before. 100%. But once you do, then you know what to do after that. You and, know what I'm you saying? Know, and you know, 19 years old, I started my business, right? And you know, that was, you know, crazy. And, I'm 23 years old now. I think about it. I'm 23 years old. I got two, you know, very good, you know, stores running. And, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's a blessing. And especially, like I said, not only did I s survive COVID, I actually expanded through the whole thing. And, you know, yeah. that, that's, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy to think. And but the thing was, I think COVID, like, obviously, COVID was a terrible thing. But I feel like that helped, helped your business too. Because, you know, people are bored. Yeah. They wanted something... Yeah, this exciting. is perfect. Yeah. yeah. And they want something exciting. So I feel like, bro, yeah. this was perfect for them. Like, oh, bro, like fucking. And I, I, especially, bro, because like it's so hard at that time to get stuff like this. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So let's rewind a year ago, like May 2021, June 2021. Um, when I, about a month or two after I moved into this place, you know, a couple of TikToks went crazy yeah. viral. And we had, I had. A line, you remember? Yeah, dude, I remember. A lineup around <coughs> the yeah, building. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah, around the building. That. You know what? I was only allowed twenty five percent capacity in here. I didn't want this Vaughn coming by and giving me a ticket and whatnot. So, but we only had like three or four people allowed you at a time. People were waiting 
three hours to come into my store. And yo, people were coming from North Bay, bro, Sudbury, Hamilton, bro, Timbuktu's people were coming from, bro. Do you know how much of a good feeling that was? Knowing And people were waiting three hours to that come into you got, my that store, That means you bro. got something. You know that? And you know, that's, yeah. when, that's when I said, bro, when that right there was, um, bro, you asked me before when I started taking my business serious, that when, I, when that shit happened, bro, that's when I said, dude, this shit is next level and I got to take this shit to the top. And you know, I, yeah. it, that, that was like, it, it was nuts, bro. The amount of business I, I got in, 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 in two months and, and you know, people I had waiting, it just, bro, it was, it was crazy and it was a great feeling, man. You know, it was... I just yeah. think, bro, it's the perfect business for people that is, bro, like what, even when you're grand opening, bro, just the colors, yeah, like the vibe of your store, people are just going to look and want to come inside. You get what I'm saying? Dude. So I feel like that's a, the key too, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, 100%. Like you, got a, you, you got a huge array of options. Yeah. You have things that give people like nostalgic uh, yeah. Yeah. things, right? Yeah. Because you have, you have even a lot things of, are like what the fuck. Like uh, I'm still waiting on those Lolas, by the way. Yeah, yeah. bro, they, I got. Uh, they don't make them. I gotta find them, man. I gotta find them. So make them. <laughs> Why yo, you should make your own brand. I told Lola's. them to do that, bro. We're gonna I told do. Them to make yo, I'm telling brand. you, people will go crazy over those. Like yo, my mom, my dad. We like, got some stuff coming. All the, we got some stuff all coming. The older like uh, generations. Yeah. Like, if they see those things hit the shelves again, trust me, they're going to get them. Because that, that was one of the biggest, like... That's like freezies for us. You know what 100%, I'm saying? 100%. Real shit, bro. The, way, the same thing that... Same reason why you started this business should be the same reason you make this product. What's something that you always wanted that when it's gone, you want to have again? You well, know what I'm yeah, saying? 100%. And that's, you don't have to say anything, but like even if you do have that idea, like you know what I'm saying? Bro, like, you, I, I definitely think you should act on bro, it, bro. I have 100%. I'm, like, I, like I said, can't I, can't, say too much. I, I can't say too, too much. There it is. But we got some things coming. We there got some is. big yeah. things coming for everybody. Don't, 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 you know? We got more than just uh, our own uh, candy. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Let's that. make he, it clear. Yeah. He was the first one doing this shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. Ma let's make it clear, guys. You know, Fosting, let's make it clear. Fost in Canada to do this stuff, all right? Okay. Fost in Canada to start this exotic wave. I'll, I'll put it that way. Exotic Snacks GTA. And the only, the real know. <laughs> if you know, then you know this stuff. If you know the snack industry, you know Exotic Snacks GTA did it, man. You know we did it. Did the exotic snacks yeah. come in yet? And you know, I you know it's it's beep, beep, it's, it's beep, crazy beep. because you know people come into my store all the time and they say because like I said, actually I I, <coughs> I don't think I I said it, but if I did, I'll say it again. <laughs> when I started this business, I would have never ever thought the amount of people that would have tried to copy it, like actually like th that tried to copy, like bro. Now, like, it's it's almost... Bro, like, I've been seeing bear bro, recently. Bro, everybody is trying to get on this exotic wave. It's almost like, like, it's like Bitcoin now. Everybody's trying to get on it. And you know what? It's crazy. And you know what, man? When I look at it, I I, I don't see it in any... I, 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 I look at it as, Yo, man, you look what I... You can't. You should have expected as, this. I, but I don't... I, don't I, I see it as, look what I started, bro. You know, this is... There nothing. you go. At, yeah. at the end of the day, They're bro... They're my sons. I'm the, yeah, I'm the OG, sons. you know, people... And people know that, you know, it's... it's uh, bro, I'm not worried about nobody. I'm my own competition in this world, dude. And, um, you know, um, I would have never thought that. And uh, going... <sighs> forgetting my point where I was starting that, but I would have never thought that anybody would have tried to... <coughs> that. First off, I wouldn't even thought that anybody, when I started thinking that anybody would have tried to copy, but the amount of people that tried to copy it is crazy, man. But I take it as, look what I started. I started a whole wave and uh, people know that. And you know what? People come into... This is what I was saying. People come into my store all the time saying, you know, I may be... Uh, I, I've been to, uh, you know, this store. I've been to that store. But you guys have way more selection and you guys got way better customer service. And you know what? That right there, man, you know, tells me right now, I'm doing the job right, bro. And I'm doing I'm doing what I do right. And I take a passion in my work, bro. But I'd take a passion in my work anything you know, when I was doing. When I was working at Costco, bro, and I, I was pushing pushing buggies with a passion. Dude, I was, I'd do anything. If I was cleaning toilets, I was, I'd was i be cleaning toilets with a passion, dude. That's, you know, anything you do in life, you got to take it with a passion. And, you know, fucking... You, you know, you don't slack and, you know, God sees that stuff. God sees you working hard. Good things come, bro. Karma is real and, you know, uh, God is good. So, 
And you Maloki know? was real too. And Maloki was real too, I was too, just going to say, yeah, God is good and that oil's not seeping into the water, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout <laughs> out to all the nunnas out there. Yeah. But, uh, and all the pear eaters. But yeah, man, you know, so. Yo, you take Bitcoin, by the way, or no? No. No, I'm not into any of that You're stuff. I'm saying stay away from all that stuff. As a business owner, you should be. And I don't even go to any of that you stuff. You don't think it's the next, uh, the next crazy? I don't even like. Uh, I don't even follow any of that stuff to no. be honest. Dude, like I, I, I just like, I don't even look into it or anything. But I, I, I check on some stocks once in a while. But what kind of stocks? Like publicly traded, like it, at Nasdaq and yeah, Nasdaq yeah, and stuff like shit? that. You, you know, this stuff I'm like just curious to see. I don't even have any uh, investments in anything. I'm just curious to see some stocks. Like uh, what's. Uh, What's going on with uh, you know the prices and whatnot, right? But uh, oh, do you have any? You don't have any money invested. Not in stocks. No. So you don't believe in making your money work for you? This is what this. Wow, he's this. Get, yo, he's getting younger Joseph. with every sip, eh? <laughs> I believe. I, I believe in. Exactly, bro. <laughs> I, believe in, I believe in that I invested myself, and I have inv- I, I invested myself from the beginning, yeah, yeah. and um, you know. Um, I say to myself all the time, once I get there mm-hmm. to where I want to be, then I'll you know, start dealing with stocks and stuff. But right now, I want to stay away from that stuff just because I'm focusing on all my money, on my business type of thing, right? It's I don't, don't want to screw with stocks at the moment. Yeah. But I keep an eye on them, bro. I keep an eye and I definitely keeping an eye and also studying at the same time. So when I, when I do want to make an investment… I've studied it and, and I'm ready, you know? I don't want to just jump into something, right? And I want to know, know about these stocks type of thing. So, um, you know, and, and that's what it is. But I, I, I'll tell you right now, dude, my thing, I was born to sell, dude. I was born Yeah, no, to, you definitely were. Yeah. I was born to sell. I can sell ice to an Eskimo, brother, okay? <laughs> I was, I was, bro, I, listen, listen. Four, four years old, maybe five, okay? I, um, I... My I, you, my mom could back me up on the story, bro. Okay, <coughs> I got Chips Ahoy cookies. Yeah. Okay, I put them on a plate and um, put them in the microwave for like twenty seconds or something. And I went walking around my neighborhood, saying, "I have you know fresh baked cookies. You guys want you guys want any cookies for a dollar each?" Bro, I sold them all. I came home. I woke my mom up. She was sleeping still. It was the morning. I was like, "Mom, mom, I sold all the cookies." What do you mean you sold all the cookies? I sold all the cookies. I got like twelve bucks. <laughs> Bro, so, 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 listen, listen, listen. That was, that was four or five years old. When I was in grade seven, you guys definitely remember those I Love Booby bracelets, right? Remember the I Love Boobies? Yeah, so, that was a crazy. grade seven, I saw everybody was going crazy for them. They were buying them from the store in Showway Gardens that mall. I said, you know what, man? Screw it. I, I, I can definitely get this, right? So, um, I, I, uh, I found a plug online for them, right? And uh, I, I, I was at grade seven. I found a plug online and um, I didn't have a credit card or anything. So I asked my Zia because my mom didn't like using a credit card. So I asked my Zia, please, could you order this for me? And I'm going to make the money back. We'll give it to you. But my Zia is a G. She did it. And, um, bro, I paid her back. I was selling this stuff like hotcakes at school. Different colored I love booby bracelets. Grade seven, bro. Selling them like hotcakes. Paid her back. Then sell selling them. I have like 270 bucks right now, bro. $270 for grade seven. Yeah, bro, yeah, I'm, I'm hustling. I'm hustling. So then I get one, I get called one day. Not even to the office. To the library. Like, whoever you down to the library. From the library. What the hell? Okay. I go to the library. All the principals are there. They're like, yeah, you're selling these all on school property. <laughs> you know, this, this money is supposed to go to breast cancer. So we're going to take it from you. And we're going to donate to breast cancer. Oh shit, they probably did it, right? If, if I, oh, I hope they did. They better have, but you know what? If they no, probably didn't. Wait, what? Are, but wait, 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 wait. They took the money that you took made? the money that I made because I was selling on school property and I got suspended for the first that time. Doesn't, seven. That doesn't mean they get to take the money. Because I don't, they, they said that I was selling uh, on school property and that what I was selling for, what, what, that those things are supposed to be, uh, what I was selling, all the money is supposed to go yeah, towards, uh, yeah. supposed to be, uh, you know, best cancel. No, I, I, I get that. That's fine. It's like one, you're a kid though, so you don't really know I'm good. Well, you're a kid though, so you didn't really know. Well, number right. one and number two, what you sell has no. Even though it's on school property, it doesn't mean they can confiscate the money. Mm. So I think they just jammed. Bro, you. they just jammed me. Probably buy some new trails. Who yeah. knows? They always buy trails in schools, right? But I used to do. Yo, I I used to be like kind of an entrepreneur in in uh, in elementary school too. I don't know if you remember, but back in the day, you remember those Silly like bags? fake Swarovski bracelets, mm-hmm. like the. Or Shambhalas, bro. Mm-hmm. Shambhalas. That's what it was, yo. I used to sell those. I used to sell fake beats by Dre. Because I used to get them from like DHK to right, shit. Right, right, right. And I used to sell them for like full pop. 
Wow. <laughs> I know, crazy. Bro, and then, yeah, listen, listen. Basically a scam artist. Bro, you know, listen. can I say, oh, I don't want to know, if, I don't know if I should say it on here. Listen, in elementary school. We can bleep it out, but. Okay, yeah. Can I talk about like when you said chop? A chop? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you said chop. I went with him one time to, uh, he was, he was going to sell this random guy. Yo, that right? Russian kid. Bro, with listen, the fucking we pull hat, up right? in the middle of summer. Bro. Listen. Listen. Vote, but that guy? Yeah, bro. Bam. What, what the fuck? Exactly in the exactly middle of summer, this guy came out with a Russian winter hat. I know exactly. And I'm like, yo, who are you selling? And a mink's coat. And a mink's coat. Well, that guy can tell me we Yeah, that's fucked. Yo, that shit was hilarious. Yo, damn. That guy, we would always see him walking in the park. <laughs> he, would, he would ball up with us, bro. Oh, shit. Little bit of a weird guy, but... Whatever, nice guy, but... A little bit weird. No, but still, the, every time I pulled up, the man had like a full on like, uh, what do you even call those hats? I don't um, even know. Still, but yo, but yo, take this in. We'll call it an Eskimo hat. But yo, in um, even in like grade six, did you guys have you guys ever seen like a, a duct tape wallet? You guys know what I'm talking yeah. about? A duct tape wallet? <laughs> yeah, me and my boy Luke, we were making duct tape yeah, wallets. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them. We were selling them for five bucks, bro. What do you mean, duct tape? You make a wallet out of duct tape? Yeah, you, make, you look it up on YouTube, bro. Make, how to make a duct tape wallet, bro. We were making duct tape wallets, we were selling them for five bucks each. Bro, we're making good money, bro. Like, not good, like, you know, like, you know, 40 Regardless, bucks, though, like, the fact that you turned duct tape into a know, wallet. Crazy. Me, I right? didn't sell. Yeah, I used to the, finesse. Yeah, listen, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> grade yeah, nine came around. I went to school, high school, full seal, grade nine. I went there, I realized that. People would go to school and they'd be like, fuck, man, I forgot my headphones. Everybody would cheese when they forgot their headphones. I'm like, bro, I gotta, I gotta start selling headphones. Like, I don't give a shit. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta start selling headphones. So I ordered some headphones. Same thing with my Zia. Zia, can I use your credit card? Okay. Got the, got the, got the, uh, got the headphones. What kind of headphones? Like earbuds or like? Uh, like um, Apple ones, but not real. Like oh, fake not ones. Real and and Apple, colored, yeah. colored ones. So, and I would oh. do them one for 10, two for 15. Okay. Jeez. Bro. Selling those, making good money. So, you know, I knew in me, I was born to sell them. You know, I, I also, my mother has her own business. She comes from a family business. Mm -hmm. I also feel like seeing her, um, growing up, seeing her doing her own business. I feel like that kind of, you know, inspired me to, uh, you know, be my own entrepreneur as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, man. Shout out all the hustlers out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, even, I even had this, this, uh, this one time when I was in high school. And my dad had like a three liter bottle of Canada Club whiskey. Oh, yeah, yeah. And because he had wanted it a stag or some shit. Anyways, okay. this is all massive bottles, big magnums, right? So I used to take <laughs> I used to take water bottles and fill them up. Mm -hmm. And then I would bring them to like grade nine parties, grade 10 parties when people couldn't get alcohol and shit. And I used to sell them by the bottle. Like nice. small. Yeah, small. Yeah. Crazy. And then my dad found the bottle like empty at one point and he uh -oh. fucking snapped. But I told him, I was like, dad, listen, listen, to this. Just hold on a second. I chopped it up into bottles and I sold it for money. <laughs> and then he was impressed after that. How much did you sell it for a bottle? Probably like 15, 20 bucks a bottle. But like, yo, it was How old were you? I was in grade nine. And he's impressed. That's well, well, yeah, because it's not like I no, wouldn't I know, I drink know. it. That's just funny. He's, but he'd, he'd rather you make money off it than drink it, right? So he's happy, yeah, you know? Yeah, he's yeah. probably like, yo, my son's about to be a millionaire. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's thinking, you know, my son's a And now I'm here just a broke rapper. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Are you all right, man? <laughs> we have an issue behind the scenes. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> yeah, man. But, um, but yeah, man, you know, so I, you know, like I was saying, I just knew I was born to be a hustler, you know what I mean? And get rich or die gotta, trying. Get rich or die trying. If I'm not selling cereal and snacks, I'm selling something else. You're back, to the, back to the block. I'm selling anything. I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I can sell anything, right? Like I said, I sell I mean, you can sell both on Queen Street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <it's good>. <laughs> Yo, why, so did you tell, why, why did you tell us, like, because you've already been there for what, like three, how many days have you been there? Three days? Uh, but I've been there like uh, four days now. All right, so what's the crack? It's like over there. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty yeah. crazy, man. It gets, it, they come out at nighttime. That's what you know. So I close up around, you know, like nine, you know, nine, ten. They, they come, they come out. They come out. They, they, they're, they're, they're they night, run, they're creepy they run crawlers, the city. Bro. They run the city, bro. This is their city. But, Yo, uh. Well, that would be the type I'm telling you right now. If like the world was going crazy. Like riots in the streets, Bullzan would be protecting his store, bro. He'd be there by himself, guns, knives, <laughs> protecting his store, my bro. My dad, my dad, body for, sure, for sure. Yeah, it's his baby. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> oh my god. What do you mean? We literally bro. saw a fucking we saw a crackhead on the street on the way to your shop tonight. 
And he was legit doing the fucking Uzi shoulder roll in the middle of the street, just like, holding up traffic, bro. Just <laughs> he literally bent over like a contortionist, bro. Like he's fu- yo, crackheads legit have superpowers, man. Bro, the the next level, they got the ne- they got like next strength in them, you know. Like, like I think, I, like I I don't I've seen like crackheads in other cities and shit, like New York and whatever. Right, right, right. And even uh, Wait, not that even yo, even in Italy no, New too. York like hustlers, I, bro. I don't know if you've ever been to Vatican City. Like, have you guys ever been to Italy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. You've been to Italy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so in Vatican City, bro, like um, the panhandlers there are crazy. <laughs> like, I, I, I even seen some people completely like spread out flat on the floor. Like right. huge fucking bumps on their head, like because they have diseases. Oh, and shit, I know, right? and, and oh, I know, and like and like still, like they're legit, like ha- they, they look like they're dead. Gym. Yeah, they legit look like they're dead, but they're still begging for money. Mm-hmm. It's so it's so fucked up, bro. New York, listen, bro, it was the best scheme. I'm walking down yeah, Times Square. Know how to do it, this guy comes up to me. He's like, yo, 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 nice jacket, bro. Yo, let me holler at you for a sec. He's like, yo, same shit happening. He's to like, me. I'm a rapper. CD. He's like, this is my <laughs> CD. It's like, and I, I'm like, oh shit, yo, I do music too. He's, and in his head, he's probably like, perfect. <laughs> he's like, yeah, so support, man. So you got to support your other, uh, these artists, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, uh, how much is it? He's like, five bucks. I give him five bucks. Give him five bucks. His boy comes immediately after. He's like, yo, yo, I'm a rapper too. And then the guy that I paid for already, oh he's like, yo, you got to buy my boy CD too, and you man. Have to. Come on, you got to do it. And I'm like, look, bro, I don't even have that much cash on me. I'm like, okay, fine, bro. Five bucks. Next, I swear to God, another guy, bro. And I'm like, no, 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 I can't, I can't do no more. He's like, yo, come on, man. And like, yo, it's just, cr- it was like a whole system. No, was out there, bro. It was a whole system. Yeah, bro. they know what they're doing, bro. No. Did you ever listen to the tape? <laughs> the what? Did you ever listen to the tape? The tape. Like you bought the CD, didn't you? Oh no, bro. I left it in New York, but I'm, I'm, it was pretty. It's probably a blank CD, for all I know. No, nah, no, nah, yo, you'd be surprised, bro. I don't know, bro. It was like when I, stuff out though, but yeah, all yeah, the yo, when, yo, when I when when I was in New York with my sister, um, we got approached by a couple of those people. We actually bought one of them and we listened to it, and it was legit. It was good. No, it was terrible. No, it was terrible. It was terrible. No, like no disrespect. Obviously, like like New York has burst some of the greatest rappers, but I'm saying like <laughs> that bro, guy specifically. Dog, a lot of them. Are, yeah, he just kept saying like, "Yo, new shit, new shit, new <laughs> shit." Yeah, this is some new shit. Like for a whole minute and a half straight. You know what I'm Yo, I feel like <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I bro. feel like it still was a finesse though. You probably just like to say some random shit. <laughs> Skip to the next song. New, new shit, shit, new shit. <laughs> I'm this not even new kidding. Shit. Bro. Like, yo, what is this? New shit. New shit. New shit. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, what's the album called? New shit. Yo, yo. Literally. Um in, in New York, bro, that's all they all about. When you're driving, when you're driving around, even bro, even if you're driving, like they'll come up to you, do yo, 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 let me holler at you for a second. No, nah, bro, the homeless people, bro, I asked Marcel. Fam, they were selling snacks, bro. I swear, they're like mini use out there. Exotic bro. snacks or just no, just regular snacks. But bro, they had carts and like there's like, like they're not like lazy, just asking for money. Like these guys were actually working. Yeah, bro. yo, they, yo, yo. they legit find any which yeah. way to hustle, any which. And way. yo, in New York, yo, okay. one time I was in uh, it was in Chinatown. I forget where I was at. I was <laughs> buying, I was buying DVDs, you know, on the street. <laughs> And uh, bro, the cops were coming. So like everybody that was selling shit on that street was like running, packing up their shit and running, right? And it was like cops, right? Bro, I'm trying to pick up what CD. Bro, like she's, bro, she did not pack up that shit. She wanted this. So she's like, oh yeah, boy, which one, which one? <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, give me the Simpsons movie. <laughs> bro, she fucking threw the movie. I mean, she give, her, give her five bucks. Bro, she fucking picked up the shit, like wrapped up like a garbage bag. Oh bro, my fucking god, fucking ran, man. Like, and a, what? what? What did she do? She just like flew away? Bro, because imagine. So like, yeah, I'm standing though. She's on the sidewalk, right? Blanket down on the floor for all the DVDs and shit. Oh, I yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah, because yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like all these, you know, the, 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 what's it called? The pirates? The pirate DVDs? Yo, no, is that, is that on the strip where they all sell shit? Yeah, on, bro. What is that? Canal? Can no. But that's Canal. That's, that's Chinatown, <laughs> but it, it's not, not Chinatown. I forget where I was at. But nowadays, they only sell it in Chinatown. But... When I was there, oh, bro, yeah, just see the cop, bro, people were behind me, bro, running like for the lights. The cops were coming. She's like, bro, she did it. She wasn't gonna pack up. She's like, okay, wait, wait, which one, which one, which one? She wasn't gonna leave until she got yeah, my five bucks. Sure. Yeah, and then she sure. got it and fucking grabbed, dude. Even when we in uh, New York, I was with Marcel. This is like my first time traveling. We get to New York. Uh, we're, we didn't even go to our hotel yet. He's like, that's yo, a tough first Mar- travel, bro. I'm not Marcel's, lie. Yo, Marcel's like, yo, we gotta grab some weed. I'm like, all right, bet. So Marcel. He's like, yo, we got to go in this guy's car. Like, you know what I'm saying? So whatever. We go in this random guy's car from New York. This is my first time traveling. In oh, the that's whip. crazy that you guys We're in that, the whip. Honestly, and bro, this guy's like, I, 
He's like, I forgot what he said, but yo, he tossed a menu. It was like a full on laminated full. weed menu, fam. <laughs> huh? It was a binder. Okay. <laughs> Bro, it was a binder. He's like, yo, there's weed options. Is he this guy? He was a very, very, very good service, fam. But anyways, bro, he was like super sketched. Like, yo, it was serious out there. He's like, all right. He's like, which one you want? And Marcel's like, Marcel's like, this one, this one, and this one. Let me, let me see. He's like, all right, just wait right here. He gets out, bro. He looks, he looks, lifts, right? Goes in his trunk, gets the stuff. And like, it was just like, bro, it was hilarious the way it happened, bro. bro. No, I know. But bro, it was just like. Bro, yo, you guys are lucky you didn't get caught, bro. Yeah. That's how it is out there. Bro, in New York, How bro? did you find that guy? Oh, word, word, all right. <laughs> I forget what it was. My dad one time, because they all sell, like, watches on the street there and shit, too, you know? My dad was wanting to buy a watch, but I don't know. The guy was, like, he was, like, wrapping it up, so he wasn't going to, like, sell it to him right there. He's like, yeah, me, me, uh... Over here, like in some fucking, he's like at nine, at nine thirty, and then my dad's like, "Oh yeah, for sure, I'll be there." Like you know, like fucking, he's always, oh fuck, he's always, he's always, what, like an alleyway type of shit. Yeah, yeah, bro, you get stabbed up, bro. You don't fucking rob everything you have. These people, New Yorkers are built. Uh, I'll say New Yorkers are built different because like <laughs> they grow up in such a fast-paced environment and um, a lot of pressure. Uh, the people aren't like extremely like pleasant. Yeah, you know what 100%. I'm saying. Hundred percent. Even um, Toronto too, though. Like even here, like we, we spend so much time like trying to get places fast. I don't know if you, I don't know if you took that in. Like the, I feel you. If you if you go watch like VHS tapes from like the nineties and shit, right. like everyone was so mellowed out. Everyone was oh, chill, I know, walk, walking I know. around like families having fun, like enjoying their their time right. and shit. Nowadays it's like I need, I need, I need, I need. Because like, bro, the world changed one day, dude. When all the social, social media, media, social media, yeah. the world literally changed. And you know what, bro? Everybody's all about this clout, and everybody wants to, everybody. I don't. I don't care what they say. Everybody wants this fame. Everybody wants this clout, bro. It's a drug. It's a drug, bro. People like it's. It's crazy, right? And um, that's why, bro. The world changed when it comes to that stuff. And you're 100 percent right, bro. People want stuff too fast. Yeah, bro. Um, the best way, bro, is always you know when you have a plan, not to rush, not to move too fast. You know, move. You know, do it at your own pace. Everybody, if if if, you know, um, jo Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street, like in real life, he said it himself. He goes. Yeah. If I did, he goes, one of my biggest regrets is wanting it all At right. once. Yeah, right. Yeah. I want it all right now. He goes, if I would have just waited and, and did it more smart, because he was smart, bro, you know? Yeah. But I just did it and did it more legit and smartly, you know, that would have been great. But he, you know, he's like, that's my biggest regret. He said that straight up. So, you know, um, slow and steady wins the race, bro. You know, so that, that, that that's how it works. Obviously, you can't just be comfortable in life and do nothing, you know, you, you got to walk a bit. Can rush into things. Just like with the store in Toronto, bro. I was trying to get that store for a year, right? And at first, I had some people that were willing to work with me as landlords. Bro, they wanted <laughs> they wanted double from what I'm paying now. It's almost like they loafed it on me and I ended up I didn't end up getting the place. I got this other place and the other place I got now, number one, is cheaper and it's way better. You know what? It's almost like a blessing that um I, I that uh, I didn't go with them. And I look at the, I think I see everything happens for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. And when when I was looking for the store on Queen Street, but I was trying so hard for you, I, w I would say to God, you know, I'd say, God, like, you know, um, I, I, I really want this store, but if you know, like, this isn't, like, right for me type of thing, then I, I know that's why, like, you're kind of holding me off. And I, I know you got a plan, so whatever it is, like, it is, right? Oh. So, and then look what came around, bro. Like, I, I ended up getting the place that I have now. Perfect. I was originally looking at back in August 2021, and I ended up, you know, Securing it now, bro. It's crazy, right? Oh, so, yeah, man. And um, you're very religious, eh? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Very religious. Yeah, yeah man. You know, just uh, way to keep the faith. I feel like that's dying out now. Yeah, I know because I was raised like that. You know, straight yeah. up, dude. My like my parents are, are very religious, and you know, it's just I believe it, dude. And you know, it's uh, whatever anybody believes believes. But um, it's just uh, um, it is. Yeah, no, I always yeah. say there's no loss in believing in something at the end of the day. Hundred like, percent. If it's real, bro. if it's real, it's real. If it's not, it's not. And whatever what people I mean? believe, like, what people believe, right? Yeah, man. There's even this one. There's literally um, what's it called? There's a religion called the Spaghetti Monster. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Yeah, okay. I'm not even kidding. People okay, okay. legit believe in in a ball of spaghetti. Yeah, fucking right. Like, bro, go, if you if you think I'm joking, see, sister's laughing over there. Yo, <laughs> legit, go on Google and search up Spaghetti Monster. Okay. We'll put a picture of it when we find it. We'll put a picture of it right beside here. It's 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 not even a joke. 
It's a ball. Right, sorry. I mean, technically, it is a joke, but people legit believed in it at one point. I can't believe it. It's like a, it's like a um, a cartoon figure. <laughs> Sister, are you are you looking at it? Do you see it? Pasta, yeah, pastafarianism. That's what it's called. Holy shit, bro, that's Like people legit believe in pasta being hey, their god. Like, that's insane. Like spaghetti monster on some fucking <laughs> Michelangelo shit. Whatever they believe. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> like. <laughs> This guy's just stopped eating snacks. <laughs> Listen, whatever, they, whatever they believe, they believe. You know, I know. Hundred percent. Would you freeze your body? If I, if they prove that it was uh, safe, that I could, you know, yields from now, freeze it so I could live on a couple years, <coughs> maybe. No, they're talking about know. more than a couple years, bro. How long? Apparently, a lot of the elites are planning on freezing their body, so that when they come back, they get to see like. How far into the future society has gone? <laughs> it's so what it's if society's crazy. Society's all fucked up. I mean, yeah, it might be, but at the end of the day, exotics is still gonna stand. <laughs> still gonna be here. It's always gonna stand. What if? Okay, what if they Almost said? What if they said? Yo, on. what if they said freeze your body, and when you come back, exotic you're gonna like McDonald's. exotic is legit gonna be Amazon. How long are it freeze? Twenty years. No, hundred. Because like, and anybody he knows can't be alive. Oh, shit. No, that's not worth it then. Oh, you lose, that's what I'm saying. Really? Because yeah, then you're up. like, yeah. You wouldn't want to, yo, really. You don't know what happened to but, 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 you know, we can't give it, <laughs> we can't do it anymore, you know? Completely off topic, but like, you wouldn't want to outlive your entire generation <laughs> because then you legit have to watch everyone you know die. <laughs> but you wouldn't watch, you're fucking frozen. But what if I wake up and they're like, yo, yeah, but that's, and, or, that's even worse. You just wake up and you're fucking. What if I wake up and they're like, yo, you couldn't, we, could, we couldn't do it? You know, like, I just spent a hundred years. What do you mean you couldn't do it? <laughs> you get in this thing, fucking three, four hundred years. But, um, but yeah, man. The next know. thing you know, you wake up and everybody's fucking, fucking rigatoni just walking around. Yeah. On bro. some pasta fari and shit. <laughs> Who knows, bro? I don't know. Maybe one day. Yeah, man. What do we think? We wrap it up? Yeah, let's wrap it up. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Um, Any last things you want to say? Mm -hmm. You don't want to say too much. Tell, or, yo, is there something that, that you're planning that you I don't want to say too, too much. Um, what, what was you going to say? Anything you want to say? Anything upcoming? Um, you know, um, all the upcoming events and, you know, updates and all that. To, to know that, you got to follow ex at Exotic Snacks GTA. You got to, you know, it's at, that's right there. Where but, on, um, on, on Instagram? On Instagram. YouTube? On TikTok. Facebook. <laughs> Uh, you got a YouTube Tumblr, or no? MySpace, whatever you got, you gotta add it. And um, you're on all that shit. I'm on all that, bro. No, Tumblr? No, no. no obviously I was not. Say, yeah. <laughs> but, that's uh, pretty sick. But yeah. um, you know, um, message, bro. Exotic snacks, GTA. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, quick, this guy. He's killing me, bro. Quick message. PSA. Exotic snacks, GTA. Little quick PSA. Exotic yes, Snacks GTA. We just opened up on Queen Street. This is just the beginning. We got a lot more in store for everybody. Um, like like Johnny said over here, I can't say too, too much. Follow the Instagram. We'll come and hold. Shout out all the hustles. Believe in yourself. That's it. Mr. Exotic. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else is going to believe you. you know there you mean? go. That's it. Facts. Yeah, what? That's it. Mr. Exotic, brother. And the you competition the is dead. And the competition is, bro. We don't. The competition, bro. Only competition is myself, guys. All right. All right, Yo, boys. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure, Yo, ladies boys. and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Yo, I gotta go out. I'm out some cereal right now. You know yeah, what I'm bro. saying? Yeah, yeah. What's the tagline? Full tagline. Um, let me. Uh, before I go, this is Mr. Exotic. Let me show you the product. I'll see you guys later. Let me Peace show out. you the product. Thanks yeah. for tuning in, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. Next time, yeah. come on. Oh, I just got that. Yeah. This is Mr. Exotic. Let me show you the product. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, exactly. that's nice. Sorry. That's nice. Mr. Exotic. Let me show you the product. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he says it, five cents. This guy's fucking racking right. up. Crazy. Good shit. Good right, shit. Guys. I appreciate later, it. Later, Thanks, later. guys, for tuning in. Thanks. Next ciao. time we come, it's going to be 100 years from now. Ciao. Ciao. Yes, sir.